Hi guys, Erin here, and I am here to talk today about more police procedural series that I am reading. So, in my previous video, which I will link somewhere down below, up top, I don't know, I'll figure out how to do it. How about this is the first one I ever do a little linky up at the top for, haha. -ha. Um, anyway, I did a previous video of ones that are on my shelves that I am reading. Now I'm going to talk about some series that uh, I don't have on my shelves, but I have read, or am reading, and I think they're all good series. So, let me get started. I have Martin Beck. This is a series um, set in Sweden and written in Sweden, and it is from 1965 to 1975. It's by two authors. I cannot say their names. I've tried, and I've listened to them being pronounced because I was listening to the audiobooks, and I've heard them pronounced. And even that, I'm like, that does not... I, I can't make those sounds. So, there are nine books in this series. I have read eight of them. Um, the last one in the series I haven't been able to find. It's called The Terrorists, and um, it's not at my library. I've tried to find it online. Um, this is a bit of an unusual series to me, I thought, because Martin Beck himself, even though he is the namesake of the series, he's not always a main character in the series. He's not always responsible for solving the crime. There's, you know, it'll talk about, you know, the personal lives of his other police officers that work with him, and it will go into a lot more detail sometimes about other people in the story than Martin himself. And I thought that was kind of unusual for police procedural, because usually it's something like, you know, um, Inspector Rebus, where he is like, you follow Inspector Rebus for the entire book. This is not that way. Um, the series is obviously complete. I said it was written in the 60s and 70s, 65 to 75. The first book in the series was Rosanna, and there are several movies and TV series, mostly in Europe, um, a lot in Sweden, some in Russia, or the USSR. <laughs> the USSR. So obviously that was um, probably filmed back when the USSR was a thing. The Laughing Policeman was actually an indie film that was made in the United States. It starred Walter Matthau, but instead of being set in Sweden, like the um, actual series is, uh, it was set in San Francisco and m based on the book, but it had different characters and, and was different, but it was still based on um, the Martin Beck series. So I would absolutely, if you want, I mean, this series is kind of treated as one of the um, forefathers, I guess, or the, the, the first police, modern police procedurals. Um, Val McDermott does a, uh, introduction for one of the books. It's fairly well revered in, throughout, um, the mystery writing world. So definitely a series that if you're interested in how we got to where we are in the police procedural genre, good one to read. I'm reading the Inspector Gamache series. I don't know if I talked about it in the previous video. I felt like I didn't, um, but I have talked about it recently because I did just recently read the 2017 release, which was Glass Houses. This series has 13 books. I am currently up to date. Yay! It's one of the series that I am caught up on, um, and it is written by Louise Penny. She's a Canadian, and this series is set in the fictional town of Three Pines in Quebec, Canada. Um, most of the books are set there. I mean, some are set in Montreal, some have settings in um, Quebec City, and in a lot of cases, like, the, the location becomes a character in the book. Three Pines is just my ideal place to live, and so much like a small town. As someone that grew up in a small town, it is a small town. It is a perfect, perfect um, fictional creation of a small town. Um, the first book in the series is Still Life, and this is an ongoing series. I understand that at the end of August every year, um, she publishes a new book, so obviously <laughs> this is going to continue. Um, and there is a Still Life TV movie, and apparently it was actually in the CBC and I never saw it, so that was kind of a disappointment to learn. Next up, I've got Archie Sheridan. Now this one, she, it's written by Chelsea Kane and it's set in the United States. I struggled to put this, I wasn't sure where I should put it, so for now I've got it dumped into my police procedurals because Archie Sheridan, it's actually Archie Sher Sheridan and Gretchen Lowell, um, and Archie Sheridan is a police officer. But this, the first book is all I've read. There's six books in the series and I've read the first one. Woohoo! Go me! Um, and it's very disturbing. You start out with a bit of a history of Archie himself being a victim of a serial killer. He's not really a victim. He was, he was taken by the serial killer and she tortured the heck out of him. And you get a lot of that disturbing scenes, right? So it's more thriller slash horror, 
but it's also a place there. Like, it's, anyway. Um, the first book is Heartsick, and that's the one I've listened, I listened to it on audiobook, and I really enjoyed it. And, um, the most recent book in the series was written in 2013. It sounds like FX had a TV series for a short period of time called Heartsick, and I, I couldn't imagine watching it because I'll tell you, like, reading that book was, like, listening to the book was just so disturbing because it was so graphic when it described the, 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 the horrors, the torture that um, the serial killer put Archie through, as well as he's in the middle of investigating another crime and dealing with Gretchen and that, because she's in jail, and it's, it's interesting. Number four, I've got, um, I've talked about Jeffrey Deaver before in my book hauls and stuff. I don't have any of his Lincoln Rhyme series here. I don't think I have any of his Lincoln Rhyme series here. Uh, but Lincoln is a paraplegic, paraplegic consultant to the police. Now, when he became handicapped, he was actually working as a police detective and, he, or a special investigator for the police, and he was crushed when a tunnel collapsed. So there's some background to that, and obviously as somebody who was once able to walk and be normal, normally abled, like everyone, like it's not normal, but it, someone who had a different life at one time, um, he has a lot of conf feelings about that and um, it's a series set in the United States there are some TV movies but it sounds like there's probably not going to be any more made for a while and there are 13 books in the series I think a 14th is due out next year and I have read four of them and the most recent book in the series is from 2017 so I've got a ways to go to catch up on this one and uh, the first book in the series is The Bone Collector so if you want I, I find that, for me, this is a, an extremely realistic look. It's how I would feel if I was Lincoln Rhyme, you know, and it's just interesting. I love that book series. I really, I really do, and I highly recommend that. Lincoln Rhyme by Jeffrey Deaver. Hazel McAuliffe. Now, McAuliffe. Hazel McAuliffe series. There's four books in the series. I've read three of them, and it's set in Toronto. The author on this is Inger Ash Wolf, and the first book is The Calling, Calling, sorry, The Calling. And there's been a movie made called The Calling, and the most recent book in the series was published in 2015. I love the series, but she is that typical um, cop breaking the rules to solve crimes. Next up is another book I wasn't sure where it fit, because it is sort of police procedural. I'll explain the series in a second and you can decide whether or not I completely misclassified it. So it's the Miss Fortune series by Jana DeLeon. Now Miss Fortune is two words like Miss, as you would call your teacher, and Fortune like fortune cookie. Um, there are ten books in this series and I have read two. I believe the first were uh, traditionally published and then she has gone on to self-publish the rest of the books in the series, and it is set in Louisiana. Fortune Redding is a CIA agent, is a CIA agent in hiding. So um, it's basically like the witness protection plan. There's a leak in the CIA. Her identity has um, been leaked, and so she is hiding in Louisiana, in a small town in Louisiana, pretending to be a former beauty queen turned librarian. Now this book is hilarious. Like I would say it's probably more cozy mystery, but because of the CIA agent aspect of it, it's sort of a police procedural. And the first book in the series is Louisiana Longshot, and the most recent one was published in 2017. And these are just laugh out loud funny. So if you don't, <clears throat> excuse me, if you don't always like a super serious doom and gloom death everywhere book, um, these ones are perfect. I just, I love the writing, I love the characters, it's fantastic. Next I have Duncan, ja Duncan Kincaid and Gemma James. This is a series set in the UK, and there are 17 books in the series, and I've read five. I fell so far behind on this one. It's written by Deborah Crombie. The first book in the series is A Share in Death, and it is based, it's um, a series of books based on Scotland Yard detectives, but in addition to solving crimes, they also, it's not really, a, 
it's not a spoiler that you wouldn't get by reading the descriptions of the future books, but a relationship sort of develops between the two of them. And maybe I'll just leave it at that. So there's a personal relationship and there's the uh, crimes. The personal relationship, of course, um, spans all of the books. And the most recent one published in that was 2017. So that's another ongoing one that I really need to get caught up on. I mean, I've got 12 books to go. Huh? You see why I'm so far behind in my series, because I start them and then I get distracted by other shiny things. Next up, I've got Pendergast, which is more of a thriller series, but he is an FBI agent. Um, these are written by Douglas Preston and Lincoln Child. There are 17 books in the series and I've read eight. So I'm kind of right at that halfway mark. <laughs> Oops. Uh, the first book in the series was Relic, followed by Reliquary. The books are set around the United States. Some are set in, most of them I think are set in New York, but I know he also goes to like the South um, and other parts of the country investigating crimes because he is an FBI agent, right? So he, he will travel. Um, and Spike TV, it looks like Spike TV either had or currently has a Pendergast series and there is an expected 2018 publication. Detective D.D. D. Warren. This is a series by Lisa Gardner. There are nine books in the series and I have read six. The first book in the series is Alone and it is set in Massachusetts. Um, I think it's mostly set in Boston, but I know um, the first book really focuses on a state trooper in Massachusetts. So that, yeah. Um, this is another series that could also really be considered um, thriller. And it's not as, as gory and violent, I think, as other ones like um, Pendergast <laughs> uh, or Archie Sheridan, but it does, it's, it's more of the thriller genre. And the ninth book, so there's actually seven or eight books out right now. So I've, I read six out of eight. Um, the ninth book has a publication date in 2018. So that one also ongoing. Rizzoli and Isles is a series written by Tess Gerritsen. Now, I've been reading Tess Gerritsen books for a long time, and I absolutely love the Rizzoli and Isles series. This book series, this book, this series has 12 books, and I've read 12 of them. Uh, the first book in this series was The Surgeon, and uh, TNT has a TV series based on this book series. It's called Rizzoli and Isles. Huh, shocker. I'm not sure if it's still on TV, but I know TNT did have a series. I don't have TV, so yeah. The most recent book I said was published in 2017 because I just read it, and it is set in Boston. Next one is another one that I wasn't really sure if I should put in this or not because this one borders more on fantasy. This is the Nursery Crime series by Jasper Ford. There are two books in the series currently with a third one planned, but I've noticed that on Goodreads the planned release date, the expected publication date, is gone, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that. And I have read both of the published book, and it is books, and it is uh, British. The first book in the series is The Big Over Easy, and the most recent book was published in 2006, which is also concerning when you consider there should have been a third book, and it's been 11 years. <laughs> Uh, so this is Jack Spratt and Mary Mary investigate fairy tale based crimes. So that's really kind of, it's fun. Again, it probably should have gone under fantasy because let's face it, that's definitely fantasy. Those are um, another dozen police procedural series that you may be interested in if you like police procedurals. Again, let me know if I've missed any, if I should be reading any. I have some more coming up that I'm considering almost police procedurals. So they're not police detectives, they're not um, formal police investigators, but they are, I don't know the word I want to use, so I'm just going to go with like forensic specialists, uh, bones on, um, Temperance Brennan on the Bones series would be a forensic anthropologist, that, or medical examiner, or, you know, there's sort of side jobs, but and I've also added in their PIs. Uh, the, yeah, so there's only nine books, or nine series in that list, so that's going to be a little quicker. So, uh, yeah, that'll be the next one. Watch for it. It'll be coming soon, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!